Hey guys, back with another video, so looking crazy. Um, so I'm about to do this little watercolor slash dyeing video. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the got to be glue spray and put it all over the lace. And as you can see, I don't have a blow dryer, so I'm just using my hand and I'm just doing this so I won't stain my lace when I'm dyeing the frontal frontal closure when i'm dying the closure so i won't stain it because what i'm about to do i'm potentially um is going to stain it so what i did is i'm um well what i'm doing is i'm putting it into four parts meaning like one two on both sides of the closure so what i'm gonna do is split it in half so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna split it in half and i'm gonna just do um but they're gonna be two different um things so with the roots i am doing baby blue a door i should have showed you guys before i even started to do this whole dying thing but um it's a door baby blue i'm gonna put it in the description box so what i'm doing is i'm going ahead and dipping um i have like a bowl and i put the door um uh, the door uh die in a bowl and i'm using um like i'm gonna call it a perm brush i'm using a perm brush to go ahead and just put it on there and then with as i get closer to the lace i'm using a comb so i'm making sure that i get every piece close as possible um to the lace And you also want to be very, 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 very careful when you're um, getting close to the lace. Because like I said, you're going to end up staining it. But even though still put the got to be um, spray on there on the lace, still be cautious about what you're doing. Because maybe, I don't know, but this is like my first time actually using the got to be spray and dyeing it with a brush. Like dyeing it, dyeing, um, using dye and using a brush, doing it handmade basically. So this is my first time actually doing it. And which it did come out fine. It stained a little bit in the back, but I ended up washing it out and it came out. Probably because it didn't do that much damage because I put the got to be spray on there. So like I said, I just, um, I'm just putting it on the, um, on the roots and then you probably gonna see me go in and part part it a little bit to just make sure that i got it in between um like hair was just everywhere in between the um the section so you're probably gonna see me part and just make sure that i got it and then obviously i'm gonna go ahead and use a comb just to make sure that i got it and i'm gonna use my finger also just to you know rub it in because i didn't want to use my brush too much because the brush is going to carry too much dye to where it's going to just make a mess. So you just want to put a little bit at a time. Then use your finger or use your, use your comb. I use both. And just go ahead and um, make sure that you're getting like every part of the um, closest to the lace as you possibly can. Um, as you can see right there, it looked like a little dark spot in front. Of the closure and that's where i stained the lace also but it ended up coming out like i said because it got to be spray most likely because because of that so
So as you can see, I'm done with the roots on the first section. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on the second section. Just so, you know, look like I know what I'm doing, but I'm not. So I just went ahead and, you know, I did all my roots. And I made sure that it got in there pretty good. And I made sure I rubbed it in and all that. And it was in it. And it's in there. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to use Kiss. I think it's called Lime Green or Key Lime or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to check. Um, I know it's either like a Lime Green, Key Lime Green, whatever it is. I use that. And I'll put it in the description box. And I use that. And what I'm doing is I'm getting... Um, Close to the blue as possibly can, and I'm rubbing it again with my fingers, and I'm going up and down, in an up and down motion. And then you want to use your brush at an angle, and you want to go ahead and just keep doing it until it gets blended with the blue. You don't want a harsh line. That's that's the purpose of blending. You do not want a harsh line. That's why you see me going in so close to the blue and blending in the colors because it will create a harsh line. And then when you see it, it will just look like a straight line or just like a diagonal line or whatever. So you want to make sure you're blending properly. That's one of the big um, to-dos right there. So I went in pretty good with the um green. I went up as possibly as I can and I blended it pretty good. I mean, it probably came out like a turquoise color, but at the end of the day, as long as you are blending, everything should be fine. So, guys, as you saw, you saw me put it at a angle again, and then you saw, well, you see how it's blended real good at the top because I made sure that the green and the blue got blended real good. And then, obviously, you're just regular. You're just going to regularly dye how you normally dye when you go in with the green. Make sure you get in between. Um, get in between, and you want to make sure, like, you're rubbing it in. And you're going like in between like the hair and just making sure you're not missing any spots and getting all the blonde pieces. Um, with the green, I didn't want to go so far down um, because I still wanted to put some blue at the bottom, which I'm doing right now. I'm going back with um, Adore Baby Blue and I'm putting that at the bottom because I wanted to blend in with, um, with just the other hair that's the second section. Um, which is just going to be um, Adore Baby Blue. So I wanted it to blend in with that. I just didn't want straight um, green going down. I just wanted something to blend in at the bottom. But it wasn't going to be, you know, something. It was going to be like, you know, maybe about, maybe like an inch or an inch and a half of um, the baby blue that I wanted to do and just blend that in. And by the way, that green is called Kiss. A uh, lime light. I, I don't know what I said to y'all, but I meant to say kiss lime light. And I'm gonna put that in the description box. I should have showed you guys the bottle so you know what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure you'll get the gist if you search it up and it'll come like that. It's say kiss and it's a lime, lime green bottle. A door don't have, and I wish that they did, was um, was like that color green or just green period because they don't have that they don't have a door don't have no greens no yellows which is weird to me because i love using a door i never use kiss unless i really have to and this was the time that i really had to um use the kiss products or unless a customer um 
wants that um that kind of color like say if they want kiss and it's and they only had that color but it's not in a door then that's something different then also use it kiss in a door i feel as if it's the same thing but kiss people just use a door rather than kiss i have no clue but i think they're both good and kiss has like one more flu ounce than the door i don't think that would matter but my hair store for some reason kiss is cheaper than the door even though it's more in it it's cheaper like the kiss in the store in my store is like 2.99 or 3.99 and the a door is 4.99 and it's five fluid ounces for the kiss so which is weird but whatever so what i'm about to do now is going with Adore Baby Blue and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same like literally the same concept but I'm not going in with green or I'm not blending I'm just going straight in with Adore so I'm just just regularly dying but the same concept is with the roots making sure you get in there use your finger use the comb make sure that you don't get on the lace even if you don't have your got to be glue just still be cautious or if you didn't or if you did spray, didn't spray, always be cautious. No matter what, be cautious about what you're doing and be careful. And please watch what you're doing and pay attention because um, you really don't want to get on that lace. Even though um, it might be in the back. Um, I don't think it's going to affect you that much if it's in the back. But please be cautious when you're in the front of your frontal or closure. Because, like, if... You don't want to see a stain mark of of the dye in front of your frontal or closure that looks um, not weird, but looks very um, un unappealing. So you don't want yeah you don't want that to happen. So just go ahead and do that, and then you know use your fingers because using your fingers is actually good. And pretend like you're painting painting a picture. Go ahead and use your brush. Then use your fingers to like blend in and like, you know, rub it in. Basically, rub it in the hair and just use that. And you want to go light on, like light with your brush um, when you're doing that. Like when you're doing the um, the roots, go light. Don't go so heavy. Don't be all heavy handed. You have to be very light. And you don't want to, you know, grab a whole clump of it. You want to be so light. Like you see right here, I'm being light um, with my brush and going in lightly. You don't want to go in so heavy to the point where you have all this dye and it's running. And then it gets on your lace and then hot mess. So you just want to go ahead and go in lightly with your roots. And like I said, guys, please be careful.
And now you're just going to repeat the same thing like you did for the other side. And yeah. So if you get the gist, keep watching. If not, keep watching. Okay, now to the fun part, thank God. So right now I'm going to do Adore Baby Blue on all the hair. As you see right now, I'm just mixing it in. I should have showed you guys, like I said, my apologies, but I will put it down in the description box. I'm pretty sure, 100% positive, it was Adore Baby Blue. Yes, I'm pretty sure. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and just dip the hair. And as you see, it was already blue. That's the backstory behind that. I was supposed to do sky blue at the bottom and baby blue at the top. So, you know, it looked lighter at the um, bottom. I didn't like the way the sky blue was coming out. So I just said, forget it. We're just doing all baby blue, um, all baby blue. And I just did it like that. As you see, like I'm only um, dipping um, just that one part because I already died. The, my closure so all i need to dye is just the rest of the hair so that's why you see me holding it like that and i already washed that part out Ooh, look at that look at that beautiful so um i'm just gonna keep dipping in until i get to the color i want and usually like literally one bottle is all you need you don't need two bottles you don't need three you don't need four all you need is one bottle that's why I love watercoloring, and I'm not going back unless it's something like this that I have to do it, like a closure or something like that. But unless it's not necessary, I will do watercolor um, dyeing for all my wigs, every customer wig, every everything. So that's what I will be doing, and I will not stop because it saves you so much money. It is quick, and it gets the job done every time. And if you do it properly, you will get your results that you want. So oh guys, just keep watching, and let's see how this goes. Okay, guys, so this is it for this video. I'm only doing watercoloring for this video. This is basically a part one of this wig, and I would be doing a part two, um, a separate video about how it came out, and then I'll be flat ironing it and styling it and doing baby hairs also, and I'll show you guys. Thank you for watching. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys soon. Peace out.